In this video, I would like to show how to tie a hood knot that I didn't put it in this Turk's Head workbook, but I want to use this to show how to tie a two pass standard herringbone knot from a five part four bite knot. And we'll just hurry and follow this run list for the Casa knot and for the two pass herringbone. And then we will tie that into a hood knot. So we'll first tie this five part four bite Casa knot. The first half cycle is a free run, then an over, then an over, then under over, then under over, then under over under, or no, over under over, then over under over. Then under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. And then that brings us back to our standing end. So that finishes our five part four bite casa knot. Now we will tie a Standard herringbone knot of two passes in this. And we follow the left of the primary knot. So we're going to go in and it's under, over, under, over, under. We're just following this side of the knot. So we're on the left hand side. Under, over, under, over under now with a herringbone we just turned and we're following the same strand we were following so we were following this strand up on the left so we're going to follow this strand down on the right under over under over and when we come to a pair we split the pair and go under two Now we come back into the knot and we're still we're following the strand on our right under over under over we come to a pair we go under two out of the knot There's a little twist there okay here's our path we go under over under, split a pair, over two, split a pair, under two, out of the knot. We come in, following the strand on our right, under, over, under, we come to a pair, we split the pair, it's over two, split a pair, under two, out of the knot. Here's our path. We go under one, over one, split a pair. Over two, split a pair. Under two, out of the knot. Okay. We come under, over, split a pair. Under two, over two. Under two, out of the knot. Okay. Here's our path right down through here. We come under two. No, under one. Split that pair. Over two. Split a pair. Under two. Over two.
my uh, standing end come out. There's our under two. So I need to tighten that up just a little and put it back where it belongs. And this strand Tighten my knot up just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take this under here so it's alongside of its blue. The red's alongside of the red. You take that under. So that these are together those are together and that is our two pass herringbone knot so now I'm going to go to this book the introduction to Turk's head knots and we're gonna tie a two pass herringbone that looks like this top drawing oh we've got it tied now we're going to tie a hood knot. Here is a grid diagram showing how the periodic nested bites are. See how there's a set of nested bites here and then a single? So this is called a 2-1 hood knot. So we're tying a 15 part, 12 byte, 3 pass series 2-1. Two bites and one bite hood knot and we're tying it from 5-4 primary knot and that is already tied so we're gonna tie this hood knot if I can get me a piece of string here okay we're gonna go under three and go alongside of the left hand side of the primary knot. So here is the standing end of our primary knot. We're going to go under three and get on the left hand side of the primary knot. And we're just going to follow it and do what it is doing, clear out the top. So it's over two, under two, over two, and under one. And that's shown in this drawing, or you could read the run list that's under it. Okay, now we're going to come back into the knot. Okay, so we went... And see right here, see that little bite that's underneath? We're going to go on the outside of that bite and come back right here is the bite I was talking about. I didn't realize I had it out of the frame. We're going to go, we're going to skip that bite and come back in the knot under one, over two. And now we're going to be following the right hand side of that second interweave so we went under one here is that bite we're going to skip that we're going to come in under one so that we're following the right hand side of the second interweave going back down and we're following it so it's over two under two see how we skip this outside bite that's what gives us our 2-1 series. Okay, I'm going to go over 2 and see here's our new pair. I'm going to split the pair and go under 3. Now we're going to turn back into the knot and we're going to go in the same hole that I come out of and go under two to follow the left hand side of the primary knot 
and we're going to go over two, under two, over two, and split that pair and go under two out of the knot. We're going to skip this outside bite, this dark blue, come in under one. We're following the dark blue one, over two, under two, and split a pair. We're going to go over three, split a pair, under three. Now we're going to go back in the same hole we come out of and go under two to get on the left hand side of that red string. So we're following it over two, under two, split a pair. Seems kind of dark. Let me see if I can move my light a little better. Over three, split that pair, uh, under two out of the knot. Skip this outside bite, this blue one, and come in under one. Now we're going to go over two, split a pair, under three, split a pair. Over three, split a pair, under three, come up out of the knot, and we're going to go back in, and see we're nesting on the inside of this bite, where we're nesting on the outside of that bite. Okay, under two to get in along our red one, over two, split that pair, under three, split that pair, over three, split that pair going out. Make an outside bite, skip that bite. Now, this is our pair. So we're just gonna go under one, split the pair, go over three, split a pair, under three, split a pair, over three, split a pair and that brings us back to let me straighten this out so we can see right there is our nested okay i'm going to split that pair under one two three the light blue dark blue and the red and that brings us to the standing end of the knot we're tying now you can either go under alongside of it here, which since all the other ones are done that way, we'll just continue. See that one's there. That's right there. This one needed to be under one more to really be correct. That tied a 15 part, 12 byte, three pass hood knot and the advantage of a hood knot over a three pass herringbone knot is all of the v colors stay together so we've got a v of red a v of light blue a v of dark blue a v of red light blue dark blue and then back to the red so if you're wanting a color combination where all the V's stay together, the hood knot is the knot that you need to tie. Now the other day when I tied the three pass herringbone, a friend of mine was asking about the color patterns. And so here's a book that George Shackey and I and J.C. Turner uh, did on the braiding of standard herringbone knots. And you can see that here's a drawing that I did of the color pattern. And see how on this one, this white string breaks the V of this spotted string. 
That's what happens when you tie a three pass herringbone knot is it breaks the V pattern of your second interweave where the hood knot doesn't. In this book, I, George Shackey, he was an expert with grid diagrams that he did on, I'm sure it was on a CAD cam or something. And he asked me if I would draw what this is in a picture form so people could understand it and follow it. And this is a three pass uh, odd number casa knot, or uh, that's the pattern you get. This is a three pass number one with an even number of strands. This is the pattern of the of his number four with an even number of strands. Here's the pattern of his number three with an odd, his number three with an even. Here's the number five with a even number of strands. And here is the four pass ones. Here's the here's a color combination with four pass, odd and even. Here's a color combination with the odd and the even. Here's a color combination with the odd and the even. Here's another one with the odd and the even. Here's another one, four pass with the odd and the even. Uh, I thought some of you might like to know this book is out there. I believe uh, Brian Kidd's got it on uh, the braiding website. But uh, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you'll try to tie this hood knot. Thank you for watching.